What's going on, everybody? So there have been a lot of news, articles, things coming to the game that honestly, I think overall is pretty exciting. Thorn coming to the game, Glyphs coming to the game, all that other stuff, Bilbo, you know, the wargs, everything. It just is pretty good. But after we get these massive updates, what can we expect? We're kind of at the end of the line of the predicted news. The one thing that we know for sure, at least unless they change something drastically, is the multi-squad PvP coming shortly after all of these updates. After that, we have no idea what the future holds. And, well, according to Haim here, <laughs> I, I think, I, I apologize, I don't know how to say this name, but uh, the person that communicates a lot with the community here, they said that the road ahead is coming in the weeks after the Thanksgiving break. And according as of, you know, a couple days ago, as of recording this video, it's not coming this week or the past couple of days, which it hasn't. And so we look to potentially see the road ahead coming either the following week, like maybe next week or a couple of weeks from now, because they had promised us kind of to keep us updated with the road ahead. Now, these are pretty important times, and I am very excited with the road ahead. But there are a few things that I would love to see going forward. Quality of life, some adjustments to some systems currently in the game. And of course, as we all have wanted for the vast majority of the game, new characters and new content. So let's talk about a few things that I am really, really hoping to see in the coming weeks, especially with the announcement of the road ahead. They do take suggestions, so if you all do want to hear or at least show slash say your suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below and perhaps I will create a thread in the Discord and maybe share as many as I possibly can to kind of get the attention of CG. The first thing that I want to talk about is sort of like maintenance stuff, quality of life slash things that I think need to be improved in order to just overall improve the experience of the game. And the first thing is, well, the shops. I think this is something that really is a not broken system, but something that really does need improving. Not necessarily like the quality of life, although you can make it much easier for us, but actually how each one of them functions, particularly the guild shop, the challenge shop, as well as the supply shop or the raid shop and the shard shop. All four of these kind of really do not meet uh, expectations. The one, one that some people might disagree on is the guild shop. But if you consider the average player, many, many people are not going to be able to access a lot of these characters without significant time investment, even with the most aggressive estimates farming chapter five and potentially doing some refreshes every once in a while, you're looking at four months for a lot of these characters each. And well, that means that you're looking at potentially over a year to get you know, three characters. That's really a really quite a long time. The challenge store, well, I really hope to see some extra currency generation because they've already kind of adjusted the shard cost, but this is not going to be the last time we see a new character add to the shop, I don't believe, into Beb, and therefore I am very much hoping to see an increased supply of challenge store currency. As for the raid shop and the shard shop, I think that the, the raid shop should be adjusted in terms of mithril um, purchases, right? The regular raid coins, these ones, well, you actually do have some pretty good things to purchase, in particular the essences. But for the mithril ones, I think these are far too expensive. And also, in terms of epic ability materials, these need to be moved someplace, I think, more attainable for free-to-play players for the short term, because it's going to be a long time for many free-to-play players are going to be able to access the epic ability materials. And then for the shard shop, this is something that we've talked about before, but in general, the two ways that you go about fixing the shard shop here is potentially just making the conversion rate a little bit better or giving us additional ways to just get random shards that we would have already gotten uh, six or up to seven stars. And this is 
going to kind of lead into more content. I think this is a big portion of the game that people are a little bit annoyed with, uh, especially the challenge store. And I think I would love to see some changes towards that. The next thing I'd love to see in terms of quality of life or improving our experience is to see team loadouts. This is something that I really, really hope to see. And yes, there are some like use last known teams, but that doesn't really um, scratch the itch and what I'm considering, which is I'd love to see some sort of like create teams up here at the top of our collection and be able to place whatever teams I'm looking for, especially with the multi-squad PVP. This is going to be ever more important because you might have specific comps built out. And the more you whale, the more this is necessary because the more teams you actually have built. I would love to see a squad loadout system that we can place in our raids as well as potentially going forward in PVP and in the other future mode. Another thing would be really specific towards raids and guilds in general, but optimizing a lot of the random things like giving us a claim all button for our personal rewards or kind of saving everything that we've done previously, but not have it bug out or anything. Just random things that just kind of need some tuning or a little bit of fixing, but I expect to see a lot of these kind of drift off in terms of they're fixing them slowly. And when we do get glyphs inside the game, I would very much like to see filtering uh, as well as glyph loadouts shortly after, which I imagine is not going to be in the place or inside the game when glyphs do come out. They even alluded to kind of not having that so far. So that's kind of like the maintenance stuff inside of the game that I would love to see. Now we get into some more fun stuff, I guess you'd say. More specifically, when considering new characters as well as new content in the game, well, there's definitely, definitely an unhappy populace with the amount of light side focus that we've gotten so far. The fact that not only the first legendary, but the secondary legend, second legendary now have both been light characters. I think a lot of people were a little bit disappointed, not necessarily because Thorn was a bad choice or because, you know, people hate the light characters, but that there is such an imbalance in how many light characters we've gotten as well as how good the light slash shadow teams are or comparatively like the elves and now the dwarves are going to be so much better and this is the same thing we saw in star wars galaxy of heroes but the best thing to do is to try to balance it so we would love to see more shadow characters the witch king right that's going to be a huge one when that comes to the game you could even add sauron um, there are a ton of well additional people for the dunlin teams there are just so so many characters that can really really change the game i would also personally for me love to see characters like radagast and saruman added to the game i think you know adding those as, as well as potential upgraded versions of other characters that we already have in the game i know some people don't like the multiple iterations of some characters but seeing like a hero's journey coming to the game in the near future would be an excellent addition building up a character like strider for example and then you know maybe you have to build up i don't know the fellowship or like you take gandalf and frodo and all these like random characters and you use them in his hero's journey and eventually um with all those characters you could unlock aragorn and that's the next version i would love to see hero's journeys personally but I know the community at large really wants to see a lot more shadow focus. And I think the Witch King as a legendary, or I don't know if Hero's Journey would work or like a Hero's Downfall, because it's never really like a you know, he hero, I guess you'd say. I guess from the books, maybe it's a little bit different, but they didn't really show anything unless you want to go deeper into the lore. So I think a legendary event's probably more fitting for that. And so I would love to see that. As for new content, I think there are really two focuses that I would personally like to see, and that is guild PVE and the adventures. Uh, so guild PVE, this is something that, well, a lot of people kind of play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for territory battles, territory, I guess territory wars or more PVP, but territory battles in specific in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but basically any sort of content where you can group together, beat stages, get more points and progress as a guild is going to be something that is really, really quite fun to kind of do on a regular basis. So I would very much like to see that. 
of course an expansion of the raids getting additional chapters or potentially well doing some sort of small grade or something like that in the future more raids that would also count towards guild pve content i think those two things are really really critical to kind of improving the end game and getting goals inside the game for people to strive towards and arguably more important the adventures tab and this would include like any of the regular events i would love to see i know this is something that perhaps people get sick of in star wars galaxy of heroes but I would love to see rotating events every single day or every other day of like here you have to use the hobbits or here you have to use like the elves or here you have to use the humans similar to the challenges right but they're kind of just souped up challenges except they rotate and when you beat them you get various rewards and this would encourage various teams being built when right now you may not have sort of any reason to build a certain team. Like, let's say they add a Mordor challenge to this, right? That gives you a reason to really build the Mordor squad out. Or let's say you build or you get the territory battles uh, inside the game and you need the Mordor squad to unlock another character or you need the Mordor squad to help you progress in the raids, maybe get you a little bit more points. I think adding other game modes or things like that that can encourage us to build out separate squads is a good thing, which is also one of the reasons why, you know, building out or forcing our players right now to build up the goblins in order to unlock Thorin isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just think that we need other ways to use these characters. So maybe goblins are one of the challenges here that would make goblins so much more interesting to me because now you're progressing another PVE content as well as getting your legendary and maybe they're used in territory battles, etc. These types of things kind of flush out the game and make a lot more squads more enjoyable to invest in, in my opinion, of course. There's also a bunch of other things that you could talk about. Like if you are interested more in PvP content, I would love to see more of a Grand Arena style game mode where you're actually competing against other players and you have that bracket system, or I shouldn't say, well, yeah, kind of bracket system, I guess. And you are encouraged to kind of build out your offense and your defensive comps and you can only use them once they're more strategic something like a galactic war that's from Star Wars galaxy heroes i'm using a lot of the comparisons because it's literally the same game and they seem to follow the very similar track record so i don't see why not to, to, to reference that but uh, a game mode where you kind of use your teams every day to progress through stages and try to beat every stage and get rewards just some more things to kind of use our characters on a daily basis can be very very exciting of course we will be getting the roadhead soon so this is just kind of a video to kind of get our thoughts going and, and again the suggestions that you leave down below could be early enough to where they might incorporate them sooner rather than later and so let me know what you think in the comment section down below are you more excited about characters specific events maybe new content or you mainly just hey i think the game is doing pretty good right now there's just a few things that annoy me or maybe you just want the systems that are very soon being added to the game such as glyphs really done well and they're focused to be on that for quite some time which i think it will but with the road ahead i'm hoping to see a little bit more in the next coming three months starting us off in 2024 so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm pretty hopeful for the game. I, again, I actually enjoy this game. Uh, there's like, I play a lot of mobile games. Let's just say I play a lot of games. And uh, this is a game that I actually find myself just kind of relaxing and enjoying every single day because of the simplicity of it, but also because of just that natural progression. And also it's cool to see the Lord of the Ring characters in a game. I'm not going to lie. That is an appeal for sure. So seeing more of them would be even better. But of course, I'm not the only one out there that wants stuff in the game. So I'm excited to read what you have to say, and I'll see you all for the next one. <laughs>